Hey, everybody. Well, I was having lunch down here in my car. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about what happened uh, and a little bit about swarming seagulls. And uh, just, you know, the, the, to, to reach the end, the seagulls have become aggressive because people keep feeding them. And the seagulls have learned that uh, where one food is, if you go swarm the food source and be aggressive, then uh, you get more food because the other per the person, the human being runs away. So uh, let me go back and talk about what just happened. Uh, somebody came driving up and they rolled down their window and they threw a cranberry out. And so the seagull that was nearest went went there and went went right over and grabbed the cranberry and was so excited he said he <clears throat> did the I have food cry I have food cry I have food cry and the rest of the seagulls came swarming over and nothing else happened because the person who did it uh, rolled up their window and they laughed and they drove off but we don't want to feed the seagulls around here because what happens is in the summer you have you know a little kid with a Dorito, a little toddler or just younger with a Dorito or any food that a seagull sees, they will come right over and try to snatch that Dorito out of the toddler's mouth, out of the toddler's hand, their mouth, wherever, and they give the excited cry and the other seagulls come right over and they're swarming and slashing and swooping and pooping and not being good, not good being good hosts for the uh, seacoast. And so, you know, it can be dangerous and it's more, it's safer not to start feeding the seagulls because over the generations of seagulls, over the seagull generations, they have learned this behavior. Now, when I first started, when I was a little toddler, first time I started coming to the beach, we didn't have this problem, but now it is a huge problem because the seagulls have learned if you harass, harangue, and har <laughs> harare, I don't know if you harass and harangue the people who are not used to the beach and not used to seagulls, if you harass and harangue them, they will drop their cheeseburger, their fries, their all that stuff to run away from the seagulls which does not contribute positively to the situation. So it's something that's something to think about. It's something to definitely not do when you're at the beach. Oh, let's feed a seagull a potato chip. No, because <laughs> you're just aiding and abetting. You're just, you're just, just uh, not helping the situation and you're propagating, uh, basically having a, seagulls continue to learn that they can harass and harangue the people and get rewarded for their bad behavior. So these uh, on the rocks over here are cormorants, diving, yeah, diving cormorants. Basically they go underwater, they get the sea, uh, the minnows and whatnot, and that's how they get their food. So they're not very interested, but these, uh, these seagulls here are just, I'm not necessarily part of the problem, they're part of nature. So, but this is something that it's a learned behavior that is not a very good behavior uh, around human beings, especially around tourists, but around human beings. But okay, all right, something interesting for the day. All right, take care.